Hey everybody, Double P here today and welcome back. So in today's trade, uh, what we went over today and then what we attacked was uh, Apple. So today is uh, Tuesday, January the 11th, 2022. You can see the date right there. You see my uh, margin account. Once again, for 2022, I'll go over all the stuff right here. Uh, if you see partially delayed data, people ask, I don't know why, still after, I don't know, four or five months, still asking. Stock is in real time. Amex, New York Stock Exchange, uh, NASDAQ, all real time feeds. Equity options is real time. Futures and futures options, I don't trade them, so I don't need it on right now. And those click on it, that's all delayed data. I'm an options trader and I just trade uh, the equity options for stocks. Forex is real time, others in real time. So I got all those feeds on there, real live, real live account. So today we attacked Apple. So let's get into it really quickly because you know the deal. Uh, let's move this down here. So what we did is first thing we always do, always, 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 and if you don't do it, you should be doing it. I've been showing you long enough now. It's been about four months, five months, and I've been teaching to you every trade I do. It's religion. This is the formula. This is the blueprint. We trade. We draw the box. Right? Now, here's the thing. When we sometimes, and I always tell you, if the stock opens up inside of the box, you know, that's kind of the death zone. You're going to be doing a little bit of a back and forth kind of moment, kind of momentum. Well, not really momentum. You're going to be trading in a range or trading in that box. So you might be trading inside of the box. So I always tell you, don't trade in the box because you get chopped up. Unless you're going to do spreads, like you're going to do credit spreads or debit spreads. Uh, even then, you got to think about it. You can do puts, you can do calls, but you're going to get chopped up. But the way the direction of the market has been moving, um, it's okay sometimes to pull the trigger and take a directional bias uh, inside of the box. So what did we do today? The stock opened up. Where did Apple open up? Apple opened up inside of the box. And as you can see here, for the, for the majority of the day, Apple's been trading inside of that box. So as you can see it right there, it's been trading in and out of the box. But because Apple is moving in a directional downwards trend, I just told my guys and I sent out the trade today to my guys, let's go get some puts and let's rock with Apple. Okay, so I sent out, let me come over here. I sent out my trades to my guys. So you'll see it right here. Bought to open 14th January 2022, uh, 170 strike puts for 164, 10 contracts. I tell my guys, they, my guys know if I put 10 contracts or 5 contracts or 20 contracts, they know to either double it or triple it or whatever. It's totally up to them, right? I can't tell them exactly what to do. I can give them guidelines and frameworks, just like I can give you a guideline or a framework, right? And they got a tight, a tight 10% stop loss. This, this tight 10% stop loss could be 12%, could be 8%, could be 13%. Totally depends on the trader, right? Once you get more experience and you're looking at your trade, you'll be able to get a better handle on what you want to do. Spoiler alert. Yeah, don't, you know, spoiler alert. You see that there. I got it at 9.55 uh, a.m. So 9.34, I sent out the trade. So I was looking for a bigger percentage, 25%, didn't hit it, I don't care. All right, so 934, let's see what we did at 934. Here's our entry point at 934. There's our entry right there. And as you see here, we're gonna get a little bit chopped up here, but no worries because we bottomed not once, not twice, if I'm not looking at you as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at my screens as I'm doing this, right? So we bought them not once, not twice, not three times, 
four times, five times we hit the bottom, right? What we're looking for. So what does that look like? 164 was the option. Well, let's go look at the high, right? Let's go look at the high of that option. It was at 192. It's the high, and that was at 944. All right, that was one high at 944, and then the other high was at 9, uh, 955, which was right there. So 191, 192. So this is when I got out right at the top of this candle right here. I already set my buy order up to be able to get in and get out because I saw what was happening here. Once I saw this, once I saw this area right here, this is, this is buying pressure. These are buyers that stepped in. These inverted hammers our buyers that stepped in as it was going down, they said, nope, we're coming back in. Buyers were coming back in. They said, nope, we're coming back in, right? These two, ha these two hammer inverted candles or whatever you want to call them, right? Look at these right here. This is all buying pressure, right? Stocks going. So right here, look at what's going on. The last previous three candles to this candle right here. Look at what's going on with these last three candles right here, right? Up up two vicious downside sell side candles and then the buyer stepped in buyer said nope boom here's a buyers boom here's a buyers stepping in stepping in and then the big rip right here this big solid this big solid green candle and then you have this next candle boom buyer stepping in buyer pressure now we know this is the third time this has happened right so i said to myself okay i'm out I'm out at the top of this. I'm out at the top of that candle, right? So that's it. That's plus 19%. That's Apple, right? That's what we do. I want to come back over here, 955. Let's have a look at it. At uh, 955. So right there, right? In and out. That's where you want to be, right? See the candles, all right? Boom, in and out. All right, so that's it for me. That's it for the trade today. You saw how it worked, and that was the Apple. You can see it right there on my right side of my screen there, the 2211, 2211, uh, 14. Oh, that's not right. It's not the 14th. Uh, yeah, that's right. 170 puts. So that's it for today. Um, if you like the information that you see, sorry, I was just looking at that right there and I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. But then again, the expiry is on the 14th, which is this week. So I kind of had to get my little bearings there. So uh, somewhere on the screen, you're going to see a link to uh, join my membership. Love to have you inside. You see what we're doing. Uh, if you like that video, smash the like button. I need some subscribers. Please send me some subscribers. I'm trying to give you guys some, and girls, some good quality value on how to trade options, how to be a highly profitable strategic trader. Uh, get the formula down and then let me do all the work. Let my team and myself do all the heavy lifting for you. We send you the trades. We spoon feed you the trades right to your phone. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know where to find me. All right. With that being said, my name is Double P. I'll see you in the next trading session over and out. Cheers.